Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're going to be talking about the God that helps. So grab your Bible, we'll be starting off in Exodus, and get ready to jump right in with us. So I love getting to read my Bible. I love reading it with a marker and a pen and, and seeing what jumps out and like being ready to look in and go, okay, well, what's happening here that's significant and how does that apply to me today? Yeah. And I was reading the other day in Exodus chapter three, uh, really there's the story of God calling Moses and delivering the people of Israel is amazing. And there's a bunch of things that jumped out, but one of them uh, in Exodus 3, 7, the Lord says, I have seen their affliction, I have heard their cry, and I know their suffering. And I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And so I read that first bit and I'm like, yeah, he's a God who's seen, he's heard their cry, and he's, he knows their suffering. And, and as I look around in our world today, there are so many different issues. And I look and I'm like, God, hear their cry, see their suffering, like they need delivered. Um, I was, I don't know if you've, you've heard, like we were going over some of the stuff for The Sound of Freedom, and I was seeing an interview, and he was talking about the statistics and the number of people that are enslaved in human trafficking right now is yeah. astronomical. Yeah. Um, and it was just like shocking, and he just compared it, and he said, you know, hey, between like the 1600s to the 1800s with slavery in America, there was, throughout that time, there was 10 million slaves, which is awful. Right. And he goes, today, there's 150 million. Yeah. And you're like, that's like 10 times. 15. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, that's ridiculous. And you hear it. And they were going through some of the stuff. And it was this interview. Anyways, as I was hearing it, I'm just like, my bl blood's just like pumping. And you're like, God, let's do this. But when you keep going... Um, God says this, and he's like, I, behold, the cry of the people has come up to me. I have seen their oppression. And then he, in verse 10, it says, come, I will send you. Yeah. And, and like Moses is he's like, yeah, yeah. And like, I, I guess it doesn't say he yelled, yeah, but that's what I picture. I yeah. picture like, yeah, God's going to do it. <laughs> Moses, you know, he's talking, he's got this bush that's talking to him. And it's this crazy story. If you've never read it, it is a really crazy story. And I guess I'm like, almost saying this as if you know, that God started speaking to this guy out of a bush that was burning. And Moses walks up to see, why is it burning? And the bush starts talking. Well, the bush is on fire, but yes. it's not actually burning. That's part of what was yeah. weird about it. On fire, but not burning up. <laughs> yeah. And, but as he's having this conversation with God in the burning bush, these are things that have been on Moses' heart for over 40 years. Yeah. And so... I can just see the, yes, God, do that, do that. But when God says, come, I will send you, his response changes from, yeah, to, who am I? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. what do you mean, God? <laughs> and and this, this question just shifted. And, and it's so like, I don't know, it's so common because it's so easy to get excited and passionate about a problem that you want somebody else to solve. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's easier when somebody else does it. Yeah, and it's really easy to get judgmental that other people aren't doing something about the problems that you see. Yeah. yeah. And I love this story because it's not, God isn't looking for somebody perfect. And sometimes I think that's it. We try to disqualify ourselves because we're like, well, I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not worthy. I don't read enough. I don't do that. You know, like we try to just disqualify ourselves. Yeah. And that's exactly what Moses is doing. And God's like, who, hello, who do you think I am? Yeah, well, I, I love it. As you said, it's so easy to look at, hey, there's a problem, and that problem is a 10. And I look in the mirror, and I go, but I'm a 2. Yeah. So how can I affect the 10? And God's response to Moses wasn't, Moses, you're an 11. Right. Moses, you've got what it takes. His response, when Moses says, who am I? In verse 12, it says, but I will be with you. Yeah. And, and it took this and goes, it doesn't matter what you have, 
Will you let me go with you? Will you let me use you? And as this goes on, and I just, in verse, chapter 4, verse uh, 1, God turns to him and goes, what is that in your hand? Yeah. And he goes, it's a stick. It's a staff. Yeah. And then he goes and goes, all right, well then, throw the staff on the ground. Here's what's going to happen. And I'm, with this staff, I'm going to do all these miracles. As you go through this, the story, he uses Moses and a stick to deliver the people of Israel. <laughs> and it, it's, it's amazing. But it's so easy for me to look in my hand and go, well, what do I have? Yeah. Well, who am I? Well, I'm not. And to list all the things yeah. that I'm not, or to list all the things that I can see that somebody else might be better at. Right. And God goes, no, no, no. I'll be with you. I've called you. I'm going to use you. And I'll yeah. use the gifts that you have. Even if the gift that you have is a lousy shtick. Yeah. Well, even if you're not good at something. I love it's uh, chapter 4, verses 10 and 11. Moses is telling the Lord, like, I'm not eloquent of speech. Like, I can't talk well. Like, how could you use me? And I love God's response. The Lord says, who has made man's mouth? <laughs> or who makes, you know, he's just this idea that, to think, to say to God, like, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't speak well enough. And God's like, I made the whole universe. Like, with just my words, I can fix that. You know, so if there is an area in our life that we're like, oh, like, I know I'm not good at speaking. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at that. Knowing that God who made the universe, if he's calling us to do something and asking us to stand somewhere or say something, that he will be with us in that moment. He made our mouth. He made yeah. us. So he can make whatever it needs to be better. He can make it work. Yeah, I love it. I was watching that, this interview the other day uh, um, about the, the Sound of Freedom, interviewing a couple of these guys. And the guy who put the movie together said, you know, hey, I encountered the guy who the story is based off of. Yeah. And he told me some of the statistics, and I was blown away. And I said, that's so sad. And the, the guy turned to him and goes, no, what's sad is what are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, You're like, ooh. And, and, and we... He said, you know what, I realized I am not good with guns. I am not, like, yeah. in the, the um, in any government agency where I can do some really cool stuff. But he goes, but I realized I have a gift. I can do film, and I can be a mouthpiece, and I can bring awareness, and I can begin to take on this issue. Yeah. And I love that it's so easy to look and go, you know what, well, I am not a policeman, an FBI, uh, whatever, the agency, so I can't. I'm not a pastor. I'm not an evangelist, so yeah. I can't. But looking and going, you know what? What am I? Oh, wait, I'm a father, yeah. which means I've got little people that look up to me and respect me. Yep. You know, what am I? Oh, I have a job. That means there are people that are, have to get stuck encountering me <laughs> on a, like, a daily basis. You know, what am I? Oh, well, I am a man with opportunity. Why? Because I encounter people and I get to show them the love of God. And I go, God, will you just use me in the places that I am? God, what gifts have you given me? Can I make those gifts a tool in your hand? And maybe those gifts, sometimes the gifts that God used don't look like they're incredible. Right. Sometimes we think I have to have this big shiny new gift. I have to have this, this platform gift. And he goes, no, can, do you have a stick? Do you have a little something? Do you have a voice? Do you have some time? Do you have some compassion? And if we'll give him the little things that we have, he can do the monumental that only he could do with and through us. So yeah. let's step up, give ourselves to him, and let him use us to accomplish his will. Let us be part of seeing people set free, yeah. of seeing people encounter Jesus, encounter his love and his grace, and be transformed. Yeah, so good. Let's say our confessions together, okay? My prayers are powerful and effective. My prayers are powerful and effective. I live generously. I live generously. Overflowing with God's love. Overflowing with God's love. In all I do. In all I do. I stand in prayer. I stand in prayer. To see God's will done. To see God's will done. On earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. My words are powerful. My words are powerful. They will bring healing and life. They will bring healing and life. I speak words that bring encouragement and strength. I speak words that bring encouragement and strength. To all who hear them. To all who hear them. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I take every thought captive. I take every thought captive. And make them obey God. And make them obey God. I encourage others and build them up. I encourage others and build them up. 
God, I thank you that we can be part of what you're doing, that we can yeah. encourage others, God, that we can give yes. you all that we are, no matter what that looks like, and let you use it for your glory. Yes. God, I thank you that you would give people a boldness and a confidence and a revelation that you're with us, and that with you, yeah. greater is he who's in us than he who's against us, and that we can see your kingdom come and your will be done. And I thank you for it, Lord, yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We hope that this encouraged you today. If it did, please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we want to invite you to be diving into God's Word for yourself and discover how much God has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.